Hey guys, I'm super hot and sweaty. You don't want to smell my armpits, honest. But uh, I just came back from the trail. I'm having a cup of cuppa and uh, reviewing my life and feeling very, very happy actually that I'm in this new glorious place and the new glorious place is uh, contentment and absolutely 100% disinterest in the opposite sex as a relationship, knowing that true relationship begins at home in the heart. Now, that being said, I did go online and I did attempt to find an individual, a masculine individual, that would um, be my uh, compadre through life. But as it turns out, online dating certainly is filled with men who are exploiting women. And that's when I determined that it is really about sex and sex alone. It's not about compatibility. And so um, because it was more abusive than anything I had ever experienced, other than being in an actual narcissistic relationship, I got the heck out of it there. And initially I was dismayed, but then I became ecstatic because if that's the only available male, that's why I got dismayed, then we are in trouble. But no, no ladies, no girls. The online guys, they know they can get you. If you're gonna give away pussy for their pleasure because you think that's gonna bring you up in life. Do you think that being with these guys and giving, giving away your precious sexuality is gonna get you anywhere in life? You're deluded. And guess what's actually deluded you? Societal programming. It's called social engineering. Now, youngins, you may not know who Joni Mitchell is. Joni Mitchell grew up during uh, the 60s. Uh, she is a true baby boomer. I'm the original Gen X, but born in 63, they lumped us later into the boomer category, which were not Gen Jones. See my video link below. If I can figure out how to link it here, it's gonna be here or here or here or here or here or someplace, all right? Here's the bottom line. Online dating is a lie. Get off of it. Do not put money into it. Do not put energy into it, first and foremost. You are better off moving to a rural area and creating a community with people and then meeting a good farm boy than you are being in the city with these F-U-C-K-E-Rs and they look at you as one thing and one thing only. They're gonna swipe right because they wanna get right into you, if you know what I mean. That's all it is, ladies. And they know how to say what they need to say because you are vulnerable. You're trying to get love. You probably didn't have a decent dad that protected you and guided you or a mother, or maybe she's actually does blow jobs because she's a real whore. Oh, by the way, fellatio, fellatio is what you do to a man you love. A blow job is what whores do and they get paid for it. And if you're doing the jobs, you better be getting paid for it. And I doubt very much you are because you probably are so insecure that you're giving them away for free. Now, the online dating community does not know me, community, huh? The online dating um, platform exploitation uh, device does not want young women to know they will be used and abused. I just saw a hummingbird, which is beauty, dreams, imagination. Live your life, girls, for you. Have fun, dress up, pretend to be sexy for each other. Have your little havla parties, whatever it is where you get together and you dance and have fun. That's where it's at. But men do not value you online. You're just a piece of meat. You're next. You're a conveyor be belt of pussy. Different stages of like when they can get in to your orifice, to your beautiful, precious palace. Do not give away the jewels. Now, I'm a 60 year old woman. I have two kids. I've had two re relationships that were marriage. 
each one seven years, 10 years, the last relationship, 10 years. I'm a long-term monogamous, a uh, monogamous, whatever. I do monogamy. I know what hot sex is all about. I will not have sloppy sex with some dimwit that lasts 30 seconds from online dating or whatever it is, five minutes. Men can come in 30 seconds, girls. I know this for a fact. Check out my profile, go to About Me, find out about who I am. I have life of experience without being destroyed. I know a thing or two. Women need mentors. I did not have parents that cared about me. I had a narcissistic mother. I had a codependent father with her, with his own problems. He didn't touch me. I didn't get held, hugged, kissed after I was the age of 10. Okay? So I have some things to tell you, some lessons that I've learned and life is about that. But if I could only have had a mentor, somebody to help me in my youth, I would have gladly taken her on. And I did have a mentor. It's in my book, Lay Girls. Mm -hmm. And you can read all about it. Check me out, follow my uh, video vlog, and we're gonna go places. And the last place you wanna go is down on him unless he is giving you the broomstick dick, if you know what I mean, and he loves you, and he listens to you, and he gives you pleasure. If you're doing all the service for him, now, I'm talking about sex right now, but you have to establish some sort of relationship first. Do not get into that. unless you want to and you never want to see him again because then you're going to be used and uh, he's going to know real quickly that that you were not a woman of value don't give away the goods they're very precious and do not let them pressure you and if he says oh i've got a hard on <laughs> oh yeah they always have hard ons Guys get hard-ons when the wind blows just right. You're not responsible for it. 